On February the 15th, 2023, Spring Festival travel season came to a conclusion. China on the move has attracted worldwide attention. Lianhe Zhaobao in Singapore on February the 16th reported China's railway travel figures during the 40-day Spring Festival travel season. The number of railway trips touched 348 million, recovering to 85.5% of the daily trips made on average of the 2019 level. The railway travel was carried out in a safe and organized manner. Reuters citing CAC data that during the Lunar New Year period, air passenger numbers rose 39% from last year's holiday travel. Air transportation recovered rapidly in January, with strong demand between cities such as Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, Shenzhen and the popular holiday destination of Sanya on Hainan during the Lunar New Year period. Rutis noted in another article that with so many people on the move, tourism is back and the signs of a recovery in consumption are obvious. Besides passenger travel, freight transportation during this period is also remarkable. It is worth noting that during the Spring Festival travel season, China Europe Railway Express has carried out 1,802 freight train trips and transported 190,000 TU containers, up 14% and 23% respectively year-on-year. Euro Money on its website described the new Eurasian land bridge as less a bridge than a vast overland trade superconnector, an engineering marvel. Financial Times commented that China as a major exporter of global commodities, and China's rapid economic recovery will further ease global supply chain pressures. China on the move is generating ever more vitality and in a better position to meet the global expectations of dividends released amid China's economic recovery.